Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Plays. Um, as always, I'm your host, Andrew Ambrose, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've been meaning to do an episode for quite a while now. I, I, meant, I've been, I meant to do this sometime up until Friday, but I was so preoccupied with my Thanksgiving and Black Friday that I only remembered to do it today. But hey, better to be late than never, you know? Anyway, speaking of which... Now that Thanksgiving and Black Friday have come and gone, uh, Christmas time has arrived, and now it's getting colder, and winter is nearing us in a few weeks. <laughs> so, for this episode of Andrew Plays, I decided to do a classic ice-related game, none other than Ice Climber, but not just the original um, Famicom version, but the arcade version. Um, made with the Versus System hardware in uh, 1985, I think. Yeah, I think this came out after the arcade version. But this is honestly one of the better. This is honestly the best version of Ice Climber because it added some extra perks. Oh, wait, it says 1984. Yeah, I don't was did was this 85 or was this 84? It's it's hard to tell because sometimes the copyright year isn't exactly the same as when the game was. Case in point, um, pinball and uh, tennis for the Famicom. They both say 1983, but it was actually 84 when they were released because um, it wasn't because those was, was an early 84 release despite having been completed in 83 and copyrighted. Makes me mad. But yeah, this version of Ice Climber has a lot of extra perks like um, extra music, um, uh, some extra stuff and even extra levels um so uh yeah uh, adds for all more fun and I, I love the Nintendo versus system versions of their games so and this is one of them I actually have this on the Switch and it is absolutely fantastic you, Arcade Archives made it available for only 8 bucks and I recommend getting it because if you want to play some Ice Climber this is the way to do it in all honesty this versus system version so, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the basic gist of Ice Climber is a condor has stolen your vegetables, and you play as two um, Eskimos, either Popo or Nana, and you have to scale up this ice mountain, fighting through enemies and reach the top, um, and, uh, at the end, you get to do a bonus, um, round, uh, I just died there, you have to, uh, scale up the mountain, <laughs> sorry, my brain's a little fried today, uh, basically, you get up to the top, and then you have a bonus area where you collect your stolen vegetables, and try to grab onto the condor at the very tippy top. But if you fail to get the condor before time runs out, that's okay. As long as you make it to this bonus area, you're good to go for the next stage. I love this game's music. It has a very jazzy feel, especially in the arcade version. Hey, we got it! I love, I love old, eight, early 80s Nintendo, uh, goodness, especially with their music. And also, with this game, you, um, the NES version, you get to choose what level to start at, but it goes in order from there. However, in this game, every time you start a new level, you get to pick which one to start from. And, after about like eight levels or so you actually um get offered a brand new set of levels that are in the nes version at least i don't think they are and they're much tougher so yeah if you're into more of a challenge i think you'll like enjoy that jumping do 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 
That's some good shit right there. So happy little popo. Gotta be careful. A lot of people have a problem with Ice Climber because of the jumping controls, and that is perfectly understandable. It's perfectly valid if you don't like this game's controls. Me, I think I they are annoying at times, but um, I'm, I'm able to work with them, and it's still a pretty fun game I still enjoy from time to time. That might just be a me thing, though. But I do know a good number of people who like this game. I know I do. to release the bees. Ah, crap. Good thing you start on the floor that you died on. Also, one thing I've always loved about this game since I was young, I always love how all the levels, like all the little different um, areas have numbers next to them to indicate, indicate how high you are on the mountain. Smack that bee. Uh, I should not have. I keep forgetting this is the level with that annoying thing. I hate you have to jump up and then get that hole up in there. It takes It's just tedious. It takes way too much time. And you gotta make sure that those little snow guys don't seal over that hole. See, I got lucky there, but a lot of times it usually takes me too long to do that. Holy crap. That thing flew really fast. It's like, those little fuzzy dudes, uh, sometimes they're a detriment, and other times they're very helpful. So you gotta know when to hit them and when not to.
This game is is a happy game. Makes you happy. The controls are a little frustrating, but it's got happy music and happy characters. I don't like those conveyor belt blocks. Those are annoying as hell. Especially with how fast they move you. And I keep forgetting which button I put made to do the hammer. It's hammer time, boy. Break it down. Shit. Oh, thank god. I didn't get touched by that bird. It's a bird. Surfing bird. Oops. Bird is the word. You don't know about the bird? How dare you? I am going to destroy you. Right after I sing the bird song. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. <coughs> I got loogies in my throat. Ah, piss. Can't afford to die here. Pumpkins. It's the great pumpkin. And I fall to my death. God damn it. See, there's a little uh, snow guy. Because I failed the bonus. Oh my god, it's the wind from Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. It has come back to haunt me in my dreams. And it's loud as hell. My god. So loud that you can't hear any music. It's just the noises of the wind just violently blowing. It especially sucks because there's a bunch of these conveyor belt blocks all over the place. And now the icicles are falling. Oh, wait. Ah, piss. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I think I got an extra life there. I think these are daikon radishes from Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah!
Yeah, baby. 100,000 points. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Ah, oh god. I forgot this part. See, now you get a whole bunch of new levels. Oh my god, we're in hell. Oops. I guess it's too tight for me to fit through that space. Oh my god, I made it. Okay, okay. Ah, god. Now I'm back here. Oh my god, I forgot about the... Moving, uh... Yeah, this game gets hectic as hell. In these, uh, new stages. I call them hell stages, now. Because they're all red. Also, they're difficult as hell, too. Ah! Piss. Well, that's it. Game over. But, I got a kick-ass score, nonetheless. I get to enter my name, initials. That's right, baby. One, two, nine, four, three, zero from yours truly. Well, anyway, that was a lot of fun. I def certainly enjoyed that, and I hope you uh, enjoyed it as much as I did playing it. So, yeah, Ice Climber, the Versus System version of Ice Climber. Very fun game, and Definitely a massive improvement over the Famicom original. Um, uh, it's, it's definitely the best way to play it, bar none. So, I highly recommend going, if you have a Switch, going and getting the Arcade Archives release of it for only 8 bucks. And uh, not to mention, uh, if you don't have Switch, you can always just use MAME until you can get yourself a Switch plus a copy of this game because, well, you gotta play the game somehow. And, or unless you're able to have access to a um, Versus System unit that has this game on it. Um, yeah, I, it, yeah, this was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed this. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Andrew Plays, because I sure did. And I hope to see you guys again next time for another exciting romp into the world of obscure retro games that I just happen to know about and cherish deeply. Um, yeah. As always, thank you everybody for watching. I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later! <sighs>